everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Lee and I come from Bukit Matajam, Penang. Right now, I'm staying in Kluang, Johor. So welcome to my program. Dr. Lee's method, English Grammar Level 1. And also, welcome to my 38-day grammar challenge. And it started on the 1st of July, 2020. So why 38-day grammar challenge? Because this program has been compiled into a book. And if you have a look at this book, you can see that there are 38 chapters in all. 38 chapters are complete. For one grammar book to have 38 different chapters is a complete book. Whatever you want to learn and know is here. Because when you go to level 2, you still will have to do these 38 chapters. And level 3, 4, 5 and 6 is the same. All these 38 chapters will follow level 2, 3, 4, 5 and the highest 6. And all the 6 levels will have these 38 chapters. You must have. A complete grammar book must have these 38 chapters. And of course, as you go to level 2, 3 until 6, the questions become harder and harder, more and more challenging. More thinking skills are needed. But you still have to do it. So even up to level 6, there are not more than 50 lessons. Not more. Maximum 50 lessons. And 38 is already in level 1. That is why I don't advise you to straight away jump to level 2 or level 3 unless you really know all these 38 chapters. Then you can of course go to level 2 direct or level 3. Today is le lesson 37, one more day to go and the whole program finishes. And um, this chapter is called, of course, uh, short answers and replies and this is the first video. We have one more video to go and then lesson 38 which is the last lesson. And. Uh, Short answers and replies are used in conversation when people are talking. We use all these short forms for talking purposes, for speaking. So, last exercise one is you have to give the positive short answers, not the negative, give the positive. So you can see, I have written in blue. Positive means yes, 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 yes. Positive is yes. Negative, of course, is no. Now, if you have this book, please turn to page 128. 128. 128. The explanation and the exercise. Today, we will do exercise 1 and 2. Okay. Give the positive short answer. So positive means yes. If for example the question is, is he a clever boy? First you put yes because we need a positive answer. And then he bring it down, is bring to the back. Put a full stop. Answer, yes he is. Has she sent an email to her sister? Positive, so yes. She bring down, has bring to the back, put a full stop. H, of course, is the um, small letter. So if I ask you a question with is, your answer must be is. If I ask you with a has, your answer must be has. Will they buy a new house soon? Positive, yes. They bring down, will bring to the back. That is your answer. Yes, they will. So I ask you, the first word I say is will. Your answer is will. If I say has, your answer is has. If my first word is is, your answer is is. <clears throat> and all this we use for speaking purposes. Does he enjoy jogging? Yes, he does. See, yes, because we need a positive answer. He bring down, does bring to the back, put a full stop. Yes, he does. Are we visiting our grandfather tomorrow? 
Your answer must be positive. Yes. We change to you. I bring to the back. That is your answer. Yes, you are. Was it sleeping under the chair? Positive answer. Yes. It bring down. Was bring to the back. That is your answer. Yes, it was. So when I ask you with ah, your answer is ah. When I ask you with was, your answer is was. Could you carry the box? Positive. Yes. You change to I could bring to the back. Yes, I could. I ask you with could, your answer is could. I ask you with was, your answer is was. Give negative answers. Exercise 2. Negative means no, no, no. So the question is, uh, you need the book. Have they bought a new house? I ask you have, so your answer haven't. Why? Because your answer is no. No. So your answer no, because we need a negative. They bring it down, have bring to the back. Haven't. Because no means haven't. Do you like to eat mangoes? I ask you do. So I need a negative, no. You change to I, do bring to the back, don't. Negative. So I ask you do, when you say no, your answer is don't. I ask you have, your, you want a negative, you say no. When you say no, have becomes haven't. Were they busy the whole day? Negative, no. They bring it down, were becomes weren't. No, they weren't. When you say no, this must be the negative. The negative of were is weren't. Could she finish her housework? Negative, no. She bring it down. Could becomes couldn't. So answer, no, she couldn't. Because we need a negative answer. I ask you, could your answer becomes couldn't when you say no? Will we have Will we have a chance to meet him? You need a negative, so no. We change to you. Will becomes won't. The opposite. Did I make mis any mistakes in the essay? Your answer should be negative, so no. I change to you. Did becomes didn't. Negative. Okay? And the last question is... Um, did she sweep the floor just now? I ask you, did I need a negative? So answer is no. And then did becomes didn't. Change it to the negative. Okay? So I have already finished exercise 1 and 2 for short answers and replies. Short answers and replies, video 1. The next lesson will be exercise 37, video 2. And after that will be the last lesson of this book, of this program, punctuation. That we have um, five exercises. I think we need two videos to finish. So, give me a like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to add me or follow me on Instagram. I use the name Susan Lee. Remember to hashtag learn with Dr. Lee. And, um, my username is Lee Sai Im, all in short, um, all in small letters. And below this video is the description box. So please go to the description box and see the details inside there. If you want to buy this book, WhatsApp to me. Your name, your telephone number, your address. WhatsApp to me. Your name, your telephone number and your address. And then I will send the book to you uh, using courier service. And uh, you might be thinking whether this book is suitable for you or not. Well, if you look at all these and you think that they are easy, then you have this level. Okay, because for many people, level one, they think that it's very easy. So do you think this is easy? All these are taken from this book. Okay, if you think they are easy, then you shouldn't buy this book because uh, it means to say you already have the standard. But if you see all these questions and while I was teaching, you discovered that it's not that simple. It's challenging 
and you want to challenge yourself, you want to, uh, uh, you want to keep trying and keep doing, then go ahead and buy this book. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.